everybody. Uh, some lady just absolutely lost her mind, hates my guts now, and won't listen to this podcast anymore. And I apologize to her, but she says she's not listening anymore. There's no way that she's listening, despite that she wrote like a five-page email that I'm now going to read. Um, she has a huge problem with me, everybody. So settle in. Want me to wait? You want to go down to the uh, break room, go get yourself a little coffee cake? I'll, I can wait. I'm on vacation. I got nothing better to do. Go ahead. I'll wait. <sighs> Fucking dog's been farting all day today. I don't know what its deal is. And it keeps looking at me like, dude, you got to help me out. And I keep going to take it outside. And then it just sniffs the grass. And then I bring it back in. It starts farting again. And it keeps looking at me like, dude. I'm really trying not to shit on your rug. Like, I mean, that's how I'm reading her face. I think that's what she's saying. I have no idea. So anyways, uh, so anyways, here we go. <clears throat> um, subject, your podcast is hate speech. Oh, Jesus. Bill, you probably won't read this. Or if you do, you will just dismiss me as a stupid cunt whore. But no matter. See, right there, she's already draped herself in the I'm brave and I'm going to plow a head flag. Um, your podcast, as of late, has morphed into hate speech. You used to be funny, and I could brush off your hateful comments with a cringe and a shrug. Now, wait a minute. If, it, if they were hateful right along, why would you? Uh, the, okay, let's just plow ahead. But now you've gone too far for me. To feature a segment on your podcast devoted to the de deplorable behavior of women is intolerable. Uh, for those of you new to my podcast... Uh, I've been doing this segment, which I think is hilarious and needs to be done just to get you caught up before this lady gives me both barrels here, because believe me, she does. Um, you know, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of shows out there that 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 shine a light on men who beat their women. Those pieces of shit. Right. Trying to stop them from that behavior. There's a bunch of shows out there that will talk about how uh, who are these guys? You know, to say what a woman could do with her body. They'll talk about the glass ceiling, the old boys network, and all that type of stuff. And they shine a light on all of that. Okay? Which they should because that is guys doing things that they should not be doing that is not fair to women. Okay? But my, So my problem is not that they do that. My problem is that they never shine a light on shit that, that women do that is not fair to men. So recently... Um, if I can drape, my, drape myself in some sort of brave flag, I've been reading these stories about guys who are married. Their wife goes out, cheats on them, has unprotective sex, has a kid with another fucking guy, doesn't tell their husband, and that by the time he figures it out, he has to pay child support for a kid that is, isn't even his and it's totally legal. And then I had the audacity to say that a woman who would do that to her husband is a cunt. Evidently, that's hateful speech towards all women, according to this person. All right? Because she continues. And oh, does she ever continue. Um, to feature a segment on your podcast devoted to the deplorable behavior of women is intolerable. How is that any different than someone spending 20 minutes a week on a different podcast featuring the deplorable behavior, behavior of black people? Why do they always go to black people? That's always a, that's just like calling me the N-word. This is no different than slavery. That's people in other groups always do that. Always do that. All right. Give me a goddamn break. All right. That she, she goes, women are, I mean, how is that different? I'm, how is, how is what I'm doing any different by, by featuring a segment of women who are doing something absolutely reprehensible to men? How is that any different than a show that focuses on men doing anything reprehensible to women when they show wife beaters i don't look at that like oh my god they're saying i'm doing it too i i think you know something i really think you're being really selfish here and the fact that you could sit here and listen to my podcast for this long as i've gone off on fat people i mean jesus christ you want to talk about hate speech how much shit have i talked about peyton manning despite the fact i can't even throw a football you know if he sent me an email, I would understand. And I bet it wouldn't even be as, as crazy as this. She says, women are treated like second-class citizens all over the world. When did I ever say they weren't? And even still in this country. Yet you have no problem inciting further hate and disgust towards your fellow human beings on this earth. How am I inciting hate? When, when shows show wife beaters, is that inciting hatred towards men? 
If you look at those shows and that makes you hate all men, then you're a moron. So basically what you're saying is that I'm a moron and that all my listeners are morons. That if I call a woman who cheats on her husband, has a baby with another guy and makes her husband pay for that, if I call her a cunt, that means I'm calling all women cunts? You know, is that what you're saying? Are you saying we're all that stupid? She said, right now there are men, and that is written in capital letters, M-E-N, men, in this country still, capital S-T-I-L-L, discussing whether or not women should have the right to contraception and abortions. Yeah, I understand that. And those people freak me out. Those people freak me out, and I am a guy. And I've never said that a woman shouldn't have a right to that. So I don't know what you're talking about. This has nothing to do. I'm talking about these fucking whores that cheat on their husbands. Ma'am, you know what I love about all this? How come you don't address what I talked about? How come I can't hear? What, what do you think about a woman who would do something like that? I saw a stat the other day that said 13% of kids in this country are not with their biological father. <laughs> Me, meaning not, not just like, you know, that, that their wife got like divorced and, uh, and, and then remarried. They mean like there's a guy either knows or doesn't know. Like the woman had a kid with somebody else while they were married. Like 13% of kids. I mean, that means 80% of women are on the up and up. All right? God bless them. They're angels. But that 13% needs to be taken to task. I mean, I would, I, I mean, how many guys are beating women? I would guess it would probably be right around that same, you know, maybe a little higher. I have no idea. Let's just, let's say it's 20, let's say 20% of guys beat their women. Should they not be called out and be called cowardly pieces of shit? You know, and if you call them cowardly pieces of shit, would I have a right to sit there and look at that and be like, well, that's now you're you're inciting further hate and disgust toward all men. You're being really selfish here, man, because I go off on everybody. This podcast is over the top and it's crazy. I call guys cunts on this podcast and you're being really selfish right now. And now, you, and you know, you make this big, long speech, and then you're going to take your ball and go home. I, and look, look at this. Look at all she's bringing up here. Women are, still earn only 70 cents for every dollar a man earns. I think you guys should make the same amount. But I also don't think that that, that number is accurate, $77, 77 cents for every dollar that a man earns. Because if you include divorce settlements, uh, you get to keep your 77 cents plus his 50 percent his 50 cents so then he's down to 50 and then you're up to a dollar 37 see that's what i'm talking about right there go fuck yourself you oversensitive jackass good lord go buy a bigger bra i don't know what your fucking problem is i hope that bugged you too that i said that that was deliberately supposed to be offensive all right so go fucking write a letter to uh, fucking cunthair.com because I don't give a shit, all right? In short, we are still not equal to our male counterparts and we will forever be labeled the weaker sex. Well, with that attitude, of course you will, you know? I don't think you're the weaker sex. I think that that's all a myth. I think that that actually makes you stronger, you know, because guys are fucking idiots and they think because they can do more push-ups than their woman that they're actually, you know, that makes them smarter, you know? I don't know. Ah, oh, my fucking doorbell's ringing. Are you serious? Hang on a second. I gotta go up here, and then I gotta, I gotta read the rest of this. Hold on. All right, so I'm back. A little winded, but I'm back. I'm back. So anyways, blah, 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 blah. It just keeps going on and on and on and on. Um, where the hell is it? Where the hell was I? Uh, weaker sex, and then she tries to break me down psychologically, but my mom not hugging me. If that's the case, then I'm sorry for you. I hate when people do that. It's like, you're not sorry for me. You hate me right now, okay? So stop acting like you're really sorry for me and you're showing some sort of empathy. You're not showing empathy. You're being really selfish. Like I said, I go off on everything here. I've never said that a woman should make the same amount an hour as a guy. I never should said that a guy should be able to hit a woman. I've never said that. What the thing I'm trying to shine a light to is that some of these divorce settlements are absolutely fucking ridiculous. And and that when a woman cheats on a guy and has a, has a kid with another person, and then the, the poor sap who married her has to pay for that? You don't think that's fucked up? Howard Stern just did a great story on it uh, last week. Somebody sent me an email. He did a story about a guy who was in that situation, and he refused to play, pay the child support, and they said, we're going to send you to jail. 
He's going to go to jail because his wife cheated on him, had unprotective sex. Hey, to hell with AIDS. Let's roll the dice with my husband's life, right? Has unprotected sex, has a kid. He doesn't realize it, figures it's his because it's his, his wife's pregnant. Why would he think that it's somebody else's? He starts making the payments. Next thing you know, you know, he starts raising the kid, figures out it's not his kid. And has a natural reaction. I don't want to pay for that. And they're like, the law is just like, no, you have to pay for it. Let me ask you this, ma'am. Do you have any empathy for that? You seem to have all this empathy for women and women's issues. And like somehow I'm supposed to still respect you. Despite the fact that you could give a fuck if there's injustice is done on the other side. It doesn't make any sense. And I want to see like, this is like focusing on this issue. This is an issue for some reason that is just not talked about whatsoever. It's just sort of accepted. And I think it's an absolute, I think it's absolutely deplorable. I think it's deplorable. So I, I, I have the right to talk about it. You know what I mean? And if you want to get offended and you want to be selfish and just be like, well, that isn't fair. What, what if I uh, had a whole segment every week and all I did was talk about wife beaters? You know what? You'd probably send me an email. I just want you to tell you, I love your podcast even more. It is just, it's... You are just, you are a hero to hear a man out there just, just letting these, these, these cowardly pieces of shit know that it's, you'd be fucking over the moon about it. But now all of a sudden, I'm talking about women who are doing shit that you're not even doing. At what point in any of these stupid fucking rants that I've done, have I ever said that all women are doing this? I never have. I never said that all women cheat on their husbands and, and have a kid out of wedlock. I didn't. All right? Do I make generalizations? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. It's a comedy. I paint with a broad brush. I'm fucking around. Okay? Jesus fucking Christ. Stop being so goddamn selfish. Okay? And if you don't want to listen to my podcast, don't listen to my podcast anymore. And uh, other than that, you know, I mean, go fuck yourself. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. This, this what she's doing is, 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 a, is a pet peeve that I have. Um, like that happens to me, like sometimes when I do shows and at the end of my shows, someone will come up to me and just be like, look, you know, I have a good sense of humor, but, but subject, whatever, uh, my fucking phone, they'll just be like, you know what? That's never funny. That is never. Oh, the lovely Nia, everybody. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. Hello. Hey, I'm taping my podcast right now. Is this urgent? Are you on the side of the road? We got triple A. No, no, I, I, the dog was farting and I thought it had to shit in the house. So I took it outside and then it just sniffed around and peed. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass. So I'm going to get back to the podcast. All right. All right. I'll tell you in like a half. All right. Bye. Um, anyways. Oh, and then she goes on to say that the terms I use will then cause you know, people to use the, you know, as I fuck around and use these terms, she then thinks that people are going to use them seriously. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm sure a few will, but that's not on me. Somebody who does that, it's because you're a moron. And I like, it's not my responsibility to fucking babysit anybody once they're an adult. If you don't know not to call women these terms. Okay. Although I will tell you this. If, uh, you know, there is a time to call a woman a cunt, okay? And, and that's when you find out that your son is not your son. <laughs> and you still have to pay for it. There's a reason that that word does, does exist. All right? All right there, sweetheart. So I hope you come back to the podcast. I hope that you actually listen and will respond. And I don't want to hear another fucking word out of you unless you tell me what you think about those kinds of fucking women who do that, okay? And stop bringing up slavery and all this other shit and trying to drag all this other crap into it, all right? You stay in your own goddamn lane, sweetheart. All right? Good Lord. To, to compare yourself not being able to vote to being enslaved? Really? That's another one that gets... That's a whole nother fucking topic. Every fucking person out there just tries to fucking jump on that. You know? That's our N-word. Oh, go fuck yourself.